Well, hello everybody. Uh, welcome back to another episode. Uh, it's a little bit different this episode for for a number of reasons. One, I'm recording this at uh, instead of in the morning. It's uh, five o'clock at night. This sip of water instead of sip of tea or sip of coffee. I've just uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I've just harvested the uh, most efficient reed farm on the server here uh, and you might be able to notice something something else different which is that I have fixed the Minecraft sounds I've gotten them it's actually a relatively simple fix oh I don't even know if you can hear me over that it's okay there's a small read form it was a relatively simple fix. I actually had to—I had my uh, system sounds turned off in my capture settings, uh, which is different from the uh, the game bar that I used to record. I turned system settings on on that, and that didn't work. But turning system sounds system, uh, system sounds on on this seemed to work. Now, what you notice, what you might notice here, is that um, we've got. Tons and tons of eggs and tons and tons of reeds and only t oh okay I was gonna say twenty nine pumpkins uh, a stack and eight pumpkins not much better <laughs> we're gonna make a pumpkin farm uh, I've emptied that out uh, yeah and there's a few more pumpkins here really won't help the uh, we're gonna have like what a stack and nine here a stack and sixteen. All right, well, and we also kind of got to organize this storage here. Ah, right, yes. <laughs> I'll be back after the uh, server restart. We're back. That always pops up on me. I'm always distracted, even with the full uh, full screen reminder for two minutes. It, it, it always pops up on me. Anything? Oh, that's where I've been putting... Completely, I haven't been on the server in like two days, which is uh, probably healthy, but um, it, it's it's not normal since we've started the server. That was the first two days I've not played on the server, at least a, a tiny bit. One day, we're gonna have to do something with the old uh, with the old map room here. I might maybe I'll make like an automatic furnace array in here. It might work. There's still a lot of furnaces. That might work, because my ultimate goal is that I'm going to put a nice small shrine of the shroom here. I'm going to put my bedroom here. I have to figure out something to go where the um, where the pumpkins are upstairs. I mean, potentially the reeds. I don't even have much need for someone's dying. I don't need. I don't have much need for the uh, the small reeds. That we've got the uh, most efficient reed farm down there. But we want to make that pretty too. Still got to make a tree farm because I don't have a designated area for that now that I'm mossed up the uh, the top here. Oh, one floor more. One floor more. Yeah, see, and as I, as I found out the hard way, um, the the pods all will grow back over the uh, over the moss, which is unfortunate. Um. Because if it wasn't, I'd, I'd have no problem using it. Oh, yes, and then we have to actually figure out a, a use for this floor. And then we're going to extend this elevator up one more to the uh, roof here, which we're almost finished with. And it's almost all the way weathered. I think I'm going to get enough wax or uh, honeycomb so I can wax seal it at this stage because I really like that color. Um, so you can just, you know, jump off with the elytra here. Even though I was thinking of doing a big stained glass mushroom window. Yeah, we could still potentially do that though. Not what I meant to do. Okay. Oh, someone else is sleeping. I was hoping I'd get to... Yeah, I was hoping I'd get to my bed so I didn't have phantoms on me, but okay. Uh, oh, we gotta put that back. And then I've been I've been thinking about area. I think the best 
genuinely the best possible place is an offshoot of the uh, the wheat farm here. We have a lot of room behind here and you know behind here. I mean, well, we we could have it come down from here. We would be going through the potatoes, though, which sounds sad. And let oh, could we put it? Hmm, we might be able to. We might be able to come in right here. I have no, I have no earthly clue. Actually, I would rather have have it open on like a far end, so it wouldn't have to. It could be pretty narrow and long. We don't even actually have to have a path to it. It could just be hidden behind here. Because we can... Because um, we can put these here as uh, upper slabs and they're still uh, watering the crops. So I think that I think this is what we're going to do here. Um, I'm not going to talk to you while I do most of the digging out because it's going to be pretty big. We're going to time lapse this. Likely... But um, I gotta figure out exactly. Probably just want to do it farmland here, and they grow onto here, so we don't actually have to tunnel out that big of an area. Can we do? Hmm, we might want to do the same thing for. Might want to do the same thing for the 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 melons too, which would mean right here does right does right here give us enough room whoops this is um this is what we're gonna have to figure out here do we have the room to do this because of course we'll have to uh, decorate the walls but in terms of clearance this is the kind of clearance we need. Would would we have to share? We wouldn't have. No, we would have to share a wall if we went right next to each other. Oh, we can't go right next to each other. Otherwise, we can't have a wall in between. Okay, yeah. So let's see. Do we run into the potato wall? The potato wall. The, the wall where the potatoes are. Do we run into the potato wall at all? Don't think so. Potato wall is like right there in it. Yeah. All right. So we'll have the room because that'll be the far wall there. Just fill that in there. Okay. Well, then in that case, I'm going to get to digging both of these out. And we're going to time lapse this.
Well, as you guys saw, I foolishly forgot that there's water uh, on the potato wall, in the potato wall. So I need to, <laughs> I, I, I need to stop that flow on. I'm going to grab, uh, I originally grabbed di or stone stairs. I'm going to grab diorite stairs. So that way I know which ones have the water in it. Uh, otherwise, I am going to absolutely forget which uh, which blocks have water in them because they'll just all look like stone blocks. And then I'm absolutely going to flood the melon area again. So let's do that. We should be good to finish off this wall then. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We've, we've also got this corner we have to deal with. Uh, oh no, that corner's that that uh, that level of the corner's fine. Okay. Guess we're gonna have to. Uh, there we go. Okay. All right. And after this wall, we should be fully. Oh, I don't need to be doing. That. I think I went just a complete square on the pumpkin one, but I, I know I don't need to do that. That'll be covered up anyway. Uh, oh, now this is interesting. We're getting into the... Um, nope, once again, do not need to uh, do that. This is the storage room. I, yeah, it doesn't look like I'm actually going to affect anything in the storage room uh, sticking to this this blueprint which is not much of a blueprint I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing still <clears throat> sip of coffee welcome back everybody it's the uh, it's the next morning and as you can see here I have actually finished the uh, pumpkin farm I've come up with the design for... Oh, I don't have any room for these pumpkins. Whoops. Now, I was going to do this all on camera after I figured out the actual design for it, but then I realized that I could be using my pumpkins as a light source, and that's what, I have been, that's what I've done in here, and obviously I've needed to grow a lot of pumpkins in order to be able to do this on the other side. So we're going to do the melon farm together. Uh, yes, and here's the annoying thing. <laughs> you make the pumpkins, or you, you grow the pumpkins, you get the pumpkins, and then you have to shear them. So I've, I've got more, I've got more than enough pumpkin seeds than, you know, I've got more pumpkin seeds than, than you can shake a stick at. But, uh, but that's all, all bueno now. We've got, I, th I think that might be just about enough jack-o'-lanterns necessary. I've got everything, um, got everything dug out in here. We can just do the shell. Just a nice, simple build and talk here. I don't have much to talk about. I'll tell you about something recently has gone on. Back on the 18th, Bob Dylan did a, uh, and I'm sorry for once again talking about Bob Dylan, because y'all come down here for this, y'all come over to my channel not expecting me to talk about Bob Dylan, but I'm a huge Bob Dylan fan, and you all know that by now, all 40 of you. Oh yeah, we hit 40 subscribers. Did I mention that yet? We're, we're getting big. Anyway. Uh, yes, Bob Dylan... Back on the 18th, did a virtual quote-unquote concert. It was really more of a, a of a long music video for about 13 or 14 of his old songs. He closed, he started the concert and closed the concert with two um, recent concert re concert regulars. When I paint my masterpiece, and it's all now over now, baby blue. But other than that, they were pretty deep cuts songs he hadn't done for at least five or six years or more, stretching all the way back to, I think, uh, What Was It You Wanted was last played in 1995, so it was 26 years ago. Um, absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. 
uh, very good version of very good version of all the songs. At first, I watched it, and then I went back and I because I paid you know the twenty eight dollar fee plus the tax that Veeps took. Uh, to watch the con- to stream the concert and then be able to watch it back, which I think runs till the end of the 25th or very early into the morning of the 26th, and it is currently the 23rd because uh, they extended it. Originally, it was only going to be through July 21st, I want to say. Maybe it was only the 20th. Excuse me. Uh, anyway, I went back and watched it. Back, or I listened to it back and didn't watch the video, and I found that it was it was much better the second time around. I wasn't at all pleased with the songs the first time around, uh, perhaps just because the video was very distracting. Um, some of the visuals, it was all shot in black and white. It was him uh, backed by uh, a band that was all playing in masks, you know, like PPE protection masks. Uh, as, I guess a nod to the pandemic. It wasn't his normal touring band. It was a very nice, like, acoustic band. There was an accordion in there, which got a little grating after a while. But um, most of them were pretty, pretty decent. Most of the songs. Um, what I found grating at first is that he, Bob Dylan, had graduated to this sort of um, thing that I I realized about five or six songs in that about all of the songs up to that point. When he got to the bridge, he slowed the band down to a crawl, an absolute crawl, uh, so he could just kind of bark out the bridge, and then the band picked back up, which is, um, in the very least, a little repetitive. Um, but, like I said, going back and watching it, or listening to it without the visuals, it wasn't as bad. Um, and, in fact, I went back and listened to it again as I was digging these out, uh, in the time lapse, you heard, or, or well, you didn't hear because it's copyrighted material, and I'll put my own music over that. Um, it was very good. There were some really good deep cuts down there, like uh, "Pledging My Time" and uh, "The Wicked Messenger," which hadn't been played since I think the '90s, uh, which are songs that I, I, I like, um, and I feel like don't get a lot of uh, a lot of love. But um, overall, it was, it, it was pretty good, if a bit confounding for expectations. I know a lot of people wanted to, even though it was billed as early early Dylan songs, which I guess even what was it you wanted counts as that. It's released in 89, which is technically the first half of his career. And um, my Discord is going crazy, man. I got to fucking deal with that. I'll, I'll be right back, guys. Hold on. God damn it. Where the hell is the mute server button? Everyone shut the fuck up. How do I do the mute server button? We are back. What the hell was I talking about? Ah, yes. Shadow Kingdom. <laughs> Overall, a very nice concert. If um, a little confounding of expectations, which is what you're supposed to expect with uh, with Dylan. Uh, especially nowadays. Um, overall, it was uh, it, it was a very nice experience. I've never gotten to see Bob in concert before, but um, how much is this? Cause I'd like to dig this out and put something there. It was a very nice experience. I, I enjoyed it very much, even if not at first. Had to go back and re-listen to really get the get the full gist of everything and really enjoy it. I tell you what, I'll, what I'll do is this, and then a little like uh, strip wood action here. We need twelve and twenty-four for both of these. Very nice. I gotta figure out something to do with that. Put some trap doors on it, maybe? I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter. Who knows? Yeah, 
and one spruce there. Ahoy, matey. Um, okay. Now it is time to get melons. Which, we're lucky on the melons here, because I think it's a one-to-one -one ratio with the, um, the melon slices to uh, seeds. Yes, it is. Beautiful. That's the other thing, is it? <coughs> Dylan's voice has improved dramatically with the um, with all those years he was doing Great American Songbook covers and everything. Really learned to control his his voice as as it aged and, and changed. So, um, so on the on the very first song. When I paint my masterpiece, there was there was one particular line that really got me the way he, the way he sang it. It was, it was very smooth for for Bob Dylan. It was very very cool to hear um, him do some of his his songs he hasn't done since the start of the Gr Amer American Songbook cover years, the Sinatra years, as as those in the Dylan fandom will call them. Um, in that style, sort of a, a, a crooner-ish style that's not as harsh on the vocals as his um, as his old raspy bluesman thing he's been doing throughout the entire like modern period of his his body of work. Okay, good. That was enough pumpkins. I guess we can start to. Uh, bone mealing them, but you guys don't really need to be here for the process of bone mealing them. Crib sitting clover Sometimes I feel just like my cup is running over While it rolls I'm pulling up a rustle On a plane ride so bumpy that Men in uniform, young girls pulling muscles. Everyone was there to meet me coming down the hill. Newspaper men eating candy. Had to be held back by big police. Someday everything. Going to be beautiful when I paint my masterpiece. Okay, everybody, we've got the uh, the melons all done. Then we've got the backs done. We've got the uh, pumpkins all done. I think the only thing left to do is actually figure out how to do this. Oh, wait, hold on. I don't have to have this here. This is an, e this is an easy fix. Um, presuming that I had the, uh, the correct materials. I suppose I can have that there. And... Um, Give me a spruce and then a dark oak. And um, hold off. I need one more piece of birch unless I okay. What one more piece of birch. Those are planks, okay. It is really hard to see with this small GUI, but um, I do it so that way when I press F3, it doesn't cover the entire goddamn screen. Do it for you guys. 
yeah, okay, that that works. We don't need to move this then. That's right, because I added in a little corner here. So I guess I can take out these pumpkins uh, and figure out something else to do right here in terms of... Oh. Oh. Figure out something else to do here in terms of the uh, farms. Oh, I can I can bring Stan over here. He can he can have a little farm stand over here, huh? Maybe that's what I'll do. All right, I'm not gonna do that now though. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you leave you guys here. Um, because we're pretty much pretty much done with what we uh, what we set out to accomplish this episode. Uh, yesterday, but uh, got this dealt with. Got pumpkins and melons galore. We are uh, we are pretty good here. Good expansion. This worked out well. It looks really nice, actually. I uh, <laughs> it, it it took a lot to get all this moss. I I basically mossed and broke up moss all the way to bedrock just straight down to get this much moss. We have a bunch of moss left over. Oh, we don't have a bunch of moss left over. We have a bunch of flowers left over, or uh, bushes left over. It should be great. We can do more shrubs everywhere. I'll see you guys next time. Someday, everything is going to be beautiful. When I paint my masterpiece.